Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv, and today we are taking a look at a skeletonized watch that is like nothing I've seen before, coming from an award-winning Chinese brand, the Siga Design X-Series Great Ape. This watch was sent to me from Siga Design for free for review, and I do get to keep it when I'm done. Keep that in mind as you watch this review, but do expect to get my own honest opinion of this and any other watch I review on this channel. I am going to point out the cons as well as the pros, so you can make an informed decision as to whether or not you want to add this watch to your own collection. Siga Design is a high-end Chinese watch manufacturer who had won multiple design awards for each one of their watches. As you are going to see throughout this review, they put an emphasis on innovation and on designing original watches for relatively affordable prices. There are a few different colorways available and two different case materials, stainless steel and grade 2 titanium. The price is 415 US dollars for the stainless steel versions, 565 for the titanium blue and 665 dollars for the titanium cased black and gold which actually incorporates 18 karat gold electroplating. Do note that these are base prices and they do tend to go down during sales and promotions. The unique design experience starts with the packaging. The watch comes in a clean white book shaped box. The outer sleeve has a silver embossed Siga design and a debossed silhouette of the watch. Slide it off and you'll see a black sketch of the watch, the brands and the model's names. Flip the cover open and you have some information about Siga Design and the various awards they have won on the left hand side and the round window showing the watch teasing you to flip another page in the book. When you go ahead and do that, you'll find the watch and two straps nicely presented on the right and the detailed spec sheet on the left. Keep flipping through the pages and you'll find an instruction manual, tips for daily maintenance, some info about Mr. Zhang Jianmin, the founder and lead designer of Siga Design. And also a loose 12 months warranty card. Let's take a look at the measurements. The width of the case is 45.3 mm excluding the crown. Its thickness is 11.8 mm. The distance between the lugs is 22 mm. Lug tip to lug tip is 48 mm and the watch weighs 96 grams on the silicone strap and 91 grams on the nylon one. The water resistance here is 30 meters, which basically means you should avoid getting this watch wet. How do you go about describing a dial on a watch that doesn't really have a dial to speak of? Well, allow me to try. Emerging for the four corners of the inside of the case, is a black double X shaped frame with purple accents holding the movement that is clearly visible in place. Applied on the 3 o'clock position is a highly polished Siga design. And that's basically it, but in a badass way. There are no physical indices on the dial itself, but there is a way to distinguish the different hours, and we are going to get to that in a minute. There are no additional complications other than the three hands telling the time. And like everything else on this watch, the hands are custom shaped. The hour and minute hands are highly polished and mostly skeletonized, with purple colored loomed arrows on their tips. The second hand is completely colored purple and is needle shaped with an eye of the needle counterbalance. The loom material stated by Siga Design is Superluminova, which I have to be honest, I didn't know you can color purple. The tips of the hour and minute hands, as well as the purple accent on the X-frame are loomed, which gives a really cool loom pattern. The green luminescence is bright initially, but don't expect it to last for a whole lot of time, as it will fade out within an hour or so. Covering the, let's call it a dial, is a flat piece of sapphire crystal, with a single layer of anti-reflective coating applied to its underside. The square case is made of DLC coated 316L stainless steel and is like nothing I've ever seen before. It is constructed of two individual parts that are connected to each other with a system of shock absorbing springs 
inspired by SUV vehicles. The inner case is actually nestled and suspended inside the outer shell. The different bumps and protrusions found on the inner part of the case are actually there for a purpose. These are used as hour markers, and each one of them corresponds with a specific time. The downwards facing triangle marking the 12 o'clock position is obvious, and so are the 3, 6, and 9, but all other hours are represented here as well. The side profile of the case is flat, and the lugs are short and stubby. That results in an interesting wearing experience, as we are going to see in a couple of minutes. On the 3 o'clock position, we have a large black and purple push-pull crown, with a purple inlay embossed with a C for SIGA design. Pull it out to the only operating position, You'll see that the gold-colored balance wheel immediately stops and the second hand hacks, and you can set the time. The case back is held in place with 8 screws, and it sports a hardened mineral crystal through which you can obviously see the backside of the movement with its custom, somewhat decorated black-colored rotor. That movement we are seeing is called the CD-01, and it's actually an in-house automatic movement developed by SIGA Design to put in their skeletonized watches. It has 25 joules and it beats at 21,600 beats per hour, making the seconds hand sweep around rather smoothly at 6 ticks per second. It hacks and it hand winds, and the visible mainspring allows you to gauge how much of the 40 hours of power reserve you have left. The stated accuracy is between minus 15 to plus 30 seconds per day, with this specific movement running at plus 10 seconds per day, according to my tests with the Watch Accuracy Meter app. The silicone strap is the more flamboyant of the two, and in my opinion the more suiting of the nature of this watch. It has a cool geometric pattern, and plenty of holes you can use to strap it on your wrist and get the perfect fit. It is soft and smooth to the touch, has two matching silicone keepers, and a brushed stainless steel buckle with the brand's name engraved on it. The nylon strap is really top quality too. It is made up of two layers of ballistic nylon, stitched together and heat sealed on the edge and hose, and is surprisingly soft and pliable. It has the same buckle as the silicone one, and two polished stainless steel keepers. Both straps feature quick-release spring bars for easy removal and installation. Here is how the great ape looks on my 7-inch wrist with the silicone strap installed. It's a big watch, no doubt. Not what I would normally choose to wear. It sure has its presence on the wrist, though. It has a very urban or futuristic look, and I have to say it is surprisingly comfortable. It sits pretty flat on the wrist, but thanks to those short lugs, it doesn't overhang off my wrist. The silicone strap feels nice against the skin. I have no complaints about it. Now, poor legibility is a common trait among skeletonized watches, and it's no different here. If great legibility is what you're looking for, you should probably look elsewhere. The hands do tend to disappear and blend into the background, and it takes a second or two to actually read the time. The lack of physical indices on the dial itself doesn't help, and even when you do spot the hands, you'd struggle to get an accurate time anyway. With 22mm lug width, you are not short of strap alternatives. Here are a couple of options I think could work with this watch. And here it is on the second strap that came with it. Also a very comfortable strap. Let's go over the pros and cons of this unique timepiece, starting with the cons. The first thing has to be the poor water resistance. I think that SIGA Design should really upgrade it to at least 50 meters instead of the current 30, so you could wear this watch with more confidence throughout your daily activities. The second thing is the challenging readability of the time, but it is an inherent issue with skeletonized watches, with almost no exceptions. 
so I'm willing to give it a pass on this regard, as this is more of a statement piece by nature and less a traditional watch per se. This watch is not for everyone, and indeed it is not my personal cup of tea either. In fact, I posted a poll on my Instagram story, and only a third of you guys said you would rock it. But if you're looking for a bold, extravagant watch that lets you bond with the mechanical aspect of watchmaking, this might be a great option for you. Let's talk about the pros. This watch is a prime example of modern innovation in watchmaking, and for the price of the watch, you get quite a lot of it. You get an automatic movement that was designed, developed, and manufactured in-house, clearly visible for your enjoyment. You get a unique, shock-absorbing stainless steel case with that cool SUV-inspired system that I, at least, haven't seen anywhere else. You get black DLC coating that is very durable and won't tarnish easily. Two good quality straps, a scratch-resistant sapphire crystal, all at the price that could have honestly been much higher for all you are getting. Let me know what you guys think by dropping a comment below. Can you see yourselves wearing this beast of a watch? Like always, you'll find all the links in the description of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. Here is a quick link to another value-packed skeletonized watch I reviewed a while back and to another video you might enjoy. I want to thank Siga Design for sending me this cool watch for review and to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.